we've got a 6.2 liter gas Ford truck and it's a slow fill. Keep watching this video because today I'm going to show you the solution. There's currently an active TSB regarding this and you're going to need two parts. The first one is a vent relocation kit for your charcoal canister, part number 9C3Z9049A. The canister filter itself, part number CX2527. Now this is a project you can definitely do on your driveway at home, but you are going to need to remove the spare tire. On top of that, the Torx bolts that hold in this charcoal canister right above the spare tire usually corrode out. So often they'll either have to be drilled out or torched out. So either make sure A, you have sharp drill bits and spare bolts on hand, or B, you have access to an oxy torch or even uh, anything that can superheat a bolt, an induction heater, anything along those lines. The canister is gonna go right up below the spare wheel and then you're gonna be running a new vent line along your frame rail to the engine and it's going to breathe from closer into the engine bay instead of back here where it gets all this dirt. So that's what's causing these to clog is they're filling up with dirt and then you have a slow fill symptom and it'll often start with you can only put in a one dollar at a time and eventually it'll get to the point where this truck can only fill 10 cents at a time. Just a reminder, we are working near gas lines and fuel vapors, so using a grinder or a torch, exercise extreme caution and make sure you don't have anything explode. Okay, so for the most part, most people can make it this far. What's going to get you hung up is going to be this red connector right here and this blue connector up here. To get this red connector off, you have to pop out this middle section, I use a 90 pick. Once that's popped out, push down on that, and then I put a pry bar between the canister and this, and I back it off. With this blue connector, you've got these little tabs here. I put a pick in from the canister side, pull up on the retaining valve, or uh, retaining, yeah, I don't know, whatever that is, take a pry bar, and then back it off slowly as well. Once both of these are out, make sure you clean them really good. It'll make it easier for putting it back in. So that new line runs along the frame. All the way to the front. And then we shove it up there. And that's it. Of course, after cutting all the bolts, make sure you install new hardware. And make sure you verify your repair before giving it back to the customer.